So I'm sitting here trying to get ready for today's Adventures in New Vegas, and I'm just listening to the music for a few minutes now. It's kind of cool, right? Like you have the tribal rainmaker sound effects and then you have the church elements probably to represent the new Canaanites. It's pretty cool. It's a very fitting blend of two things that I would never think about putting together. It's kind of spooky sounding and I just think it fits the whole tone of this place really well. So I wanted to point out that I noticed it. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk to Joshua Graham again because I'm not completely done learning about him or from him. Welcome back. What can I do for you? I think you can answer some questions for me. Probably. Yes, lots of questions. It looks like he can do trade and repair. That is good. Let's just start from up here with... What did you say about a courier? Who were you expecting? Caesar would never admit this openly. But he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentari and assassins that have come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory. But maybe this one survived. I see. Pray and God, what are you talking about? I am a new Canaanite. We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. Well, okay. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. I'm not sure. Didn't the you murder people? The day will come when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor his laws and start others along the path of salvation if we can. That's why we trade with others and work the tribes. We have more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. Well, okay, but didn't you kill a bunch of people? I mean... Right? I'm not sure how much of keeping the law of the murder and destruction was, but that sounds like a good deal anyway. Good for you, I guess. In a world filled with misery and uncertainty, it is a great comfort to know that, in the end, there is light in the darkness. Weren't you causing Every that misery, day, though? We move closer to our judgment. We must do our best to walk in the footsteps of our Lord and teach others how to do the same. But were you even doing for that? For many of us. The road is a difficult one, but the path is always there for us to follow, no matter how many times we may fall. Did you ever fall? Yeah. This seems really relevant. Did you? Every day. Some days are harder than others. All right. Nice guns. I'm not flirting with you, but nice guns. In the Great Basin and Colorado Plateau, all tribes are known for a specific weapon. White legs are known for their big submachine guns, storm drums. They broke into an armory near Spanish Fork and have been using them for years. Of course, the dead horses have their wooden war clubs, and even the sorrows have their Yao Guai gauntlets. Okay. This type of 45 automatic pistol was designed by one of my tribe almost 400 years ago. Learning its use, is a new Canaanite rite of passage. Do you run the show around here? I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief for the Dead Horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is a spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. Right. What's going on with all of the tribes? A great deal. There are three, make that four, tribes here in Zion. You've already met the White Legs on the way in. In this camp, you'll find dead horses. In the Narrows, the Sorrows. And finally, there's Daniel and myself. We're new Canaanites. Okay, why did the White Legs attack my caravan? They just attack whoever's not one of them, right? They attack everyone who isn't a White Leg. Got it. Especially caravans. They don't know how to survive on their own, so they have to raid. But as for why they are here, they are trying to wipe us out. All of us. That's pretty stupid. They want to join Caesar's legion, and they can only prove their worth by destroying the new Canaanites and everyone we shelter. Do they speak our language? Most don't. It's been hundreds of years since the war. 
They've developed their own languages. That's pretty crazy. Take the dead horses. We think they were originally refugees from a place called Rez, east of the Grand Canyon. They speak a combination of Rez and a language spoken by travelers who were visiting Rez when the bombs fell. Over time, the two languages blended. I was a translator years ago, but it's hard to keep up with all of the tribal variations. I see. Does the valley belong to the dead horses? The valley belongs to God, but no. The dead horses live at Dead Horse Point, up the Colorado River. They came here because I asked them to. Before I return to the fold, I visited them years earlier. I looked much different then, but I left an impression on them. I taught them how to hunt more efficiently, how to maintain their weapons and pre-war equipment. When I returned, they showed their appreciation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying it's dumb for the white legs who cannot take care of themselves to want to kill everyone else around them. Shouldn't they be more interested in learning how to take care of themselves? I mean, even if they still want to kill everyone, they should at least take the info and then kill everybody. Have your priorities straight, guys. Why haven't I seen any sorrows in the valley? I mean, I've hardly been in the valley. Hardly, but sure. The sorrows have many skilled hunters among them, but no warriors. They have not had to deal with war or raiders for decades. Well, they better get ready. Even though they can hunt a full-grown Yaogwai, they don't know how to deal with the White Legs. That's why we're here. I see. So you're protecting your friend and his Soros tribe, huh? Are the new Canaanites really a tribe? Because you refer to yourself as the fourth one. We wear more clothing than them and understand more about technology. But we're still a tribe. A linked family of families. The Boneyard, Phoenix, New Vegas, they're just places, metal and stone. New Canaan dies, but the tribe lives on. When the walls come tumbling down, when you lose everything you have, you always have family. And your family always has tribe. Well, that's nice. That's a nice way to think of it. So are you guys my tribe, you know? All of you out there following me, <laughs> here we at Tribe. Well, let's talk about something else, Joshua. Of course. How about repairs? I have this plasma thingy. Can you fix it? Let me have a look. My tribe may take too much pride in its mechanical talents, but in truth, we are intrigued by the workings of a fine firearm. Can you fix a plasma thingy? He, he um... Oh, he could, but that is, that is way too expensive. Even before I bought that implant, that would have been like all of our money. So never mind. What about trade? I have lots of stuff we to do. sell. We do. Though the White Legs destroyed New Canaan, they didn't destroy all of our supply caches. Good. All forms of currency are recognized here. Caps, NCR dollars, even Legion coin. Take a look. Okay, let's take a look. He's got lots of 45 stuff because that's his little signature gun. 12 gauge stuff. Let's actually filter this. Let's look at one thing at a time. Weapons. All right, we have explosives and some 45s. I might have to... Oh, that's expensive. We might have to get one through some means, like as a souvenir since it's like his special thing. Detura Hide, plus one damage threshold, Daturanas, carrots, jalapeno, peppers, water. Okay, if we are hurting for hydration, we can come here. But then again, there's a river in the middle of this place. It's not like we're going to get thirsty. Miscellaneous, so we have modifiers. And just some stuff, war club casings. Okay. Ammo. Yeah. Okay, it's good to know that he has microfusion cells because, like I said, Eddie has our spare ammo. And we might run out. But I'm gonna sell a bit of our stuff to him. Let's start with the small things. Because I want to get rid of the most stuff 
possible. And there we go, we've hit it. So maybe I'll trade some guns for some ammunition. Why not, right? Should be able to get just 35 more caps out of him? That's not really very good. Let's pick the heaviest stuff. Do we have any miscellaneous stuff that's a little bit heavy that we want to get rid of? Not really. We have the gecko hide. It's only worth... I mean, it's only half a pound, but I'll take it. That gets pretty close to his cap threshold. I don't know when he resets his money, but hopefully he will sometime. So thank you. Thanks. All right. Um, can I ask you a personal question? Right now, I'd like you to focus on helping Daniel. Oh, okay. Maybe there will be time later. Okay. Well, thank you then. God be with you. Thanks, you too. Okay. I guess we need to go find Daniel. And our first objective was to find a compass. Let's go out this exit. Where does this put us out at? Hopefully near the front. So we don't have to go all the way back that, through that canyon. Did this put us near the front? It did! That's good. It did put us near the front. Okay, cool. We have a little camp here that we can use if we need to. Okay, cool. We can steal some food and water if we're really in need. Okay. Alrighty. There are the markings of the... Oh, hey! I remember you. I saw you up here. when I was down there. I did. There's a survival cache. Oh. Well, that's really helpful. I could take this armor and give it to somebody. I could put that on Veronica. But first, we're just going to... I'm assuming this isn't going to hurt us. Hopefully our friend can find a way down. Uh, well, you know, he did. He found a way down. Wait, is it raining again? It is. Nice. Let's look at those quests. Roadside attraction. Okay, we gotta find a compass from a crashed bus. Gone fishing. Search the Zion Fishing Lodge for walkie-talkies. Let's see where these are, actually. Okay, so the bus is really close by. The fishing lodge is top. Alright. And tourist trap. Search the Zion General Store for five little scout lunch boxes and search the ranger station for a medical supply kit. Those are both over there. So probably this sort of path is the way we want to go. What about the Big Horner quest? Oh, that's like over here. We have to lure him out with banana yucca, right? We'll do that at some point. Hopefully it won't go anywhere. I am going to try and do lots of the side stuff before we complete the main quest here. Because um, once we're gone, we're gone, right? Oh, hi, doggies. You're bad news, doggies, though. Yeah, that's a bad news doggy if I've ever seen one. Tragic. I don't like killing doggies. I like doggies. Sorry, doggies. And I don't even need your hide or anything. Come on. Guy, are you coming? Did you break your legs on the way down? Dude. When the rain's over. Where are you, guy? Oh, you're like stuck for real. Great. Maybe if I go through a loading screen, it'll fix it. But there's probably not one near here. Hey, hey, hey. What if I tell him to go back home? What can I tell you? Any idea where to start looking for these pre-war supplies? Well, I've already checked that out, but let's ask him about it anyway. Best place to look for back when stuff is the taboo places. Sorrows and dead horses don't go in there. And even white legs don't like them much. 
Well, that'll make a pretty promising start then. Can you tell me about the taboo places? Lots of them around the valley. Places built by the folk from back when. You'll know them when you see them. Scouts mark them with handprints. The handprints are a warning to keep out. Angry ghosts live inside. Not that I believe in angry ghosts. They're just spooky old places. Right? Right, they're just spooky old places. Don't even worry about it. Where should we start? Lots of back when places to choose from. But for the things we need, best to start with the really closed up places. Three I know of. A building down by the river called a fishing lodge. The old ranger station in the northwest. And the general store right by it. Easy peasy. Closer to home might be something you can salvage from the place where the little ones fell. Just west of the Eastern Virgin. Okay. What is the place where the little ones fell? In the river, there's a twisted pile of metal and glass. All full of bones. Joshua says they were scouts, but they looked awful small oh, to no, me. Oh no, is it like a boy scout Lots bus? of that old stuff. Uh, how do you say it? Uh, electronics. Maybe you could use some of it. Okay. I don't have any more questions. Ask away. Well, what uh, if I tell you to go back to camp? You sure? It's easy to get lost out here without a guide. Well, the guide is currently lost, so I'm not really sure. Glad to hear it. I wouldn't want to go back to Joshua alone. Yeah, he is pretty scary, huh? Okay, hang on. Go with fortune, friend. Can you just, um... Can you just please come over here? Okay, cool. Talking to him fixed it. That's good. That's good. All right. Nice. Let's go to where the little ones fell. That's really sad. I'm not looking forward to the bus crash. That that doesn't sound very happy making. But we'll just go in there and get the compass and leave. He also said there are electronics. But I don't need any right now. I guess we'll just try to remember that it has electronics in case we do need them. I just don't want to end up carrying too much. We're still carrying quite a bit, even after selling stuff, so. Yeah. That was an awful sudden rain stop. Let's kill this cursed coyote. Did you see how it was walking? Okay, it's less cursed. Oh! Oh my gosh, I thought I almost jetted you, man. Oh, Chalky. You almost got jetted in the headed man. Please, please don't step in front of the plasma rifle, please. It's important, okay? Oh, that scared me really bad. Okay, all right, we're good. Should I jump down to it? That looks like a pretty long fall and you didn't like the last jump that I made. So let's go around and get down to it from some nicer way. Why do you way. carry all those bottle caps anyway? They jangle like crazy. It's because I want to jingle jangle in the jungle wungle, okay? Whoa, hey. You can stop it with the gunfire, please. It's probably just that scout from earlier. Wasn't she, like, right there? And then she came down here? Yeah. Oh, it's more than one of them. It's two of them. That's more than one. Okay. Now, surely he can go down this little drop. He can just run around. Okay, there we go. Didn't even run around, just jumped like a like a winner. Okay, now I'm gonna need you to come down here. Can you manage it? That was very good. Proud. I'm proud. So this is the bus rack. And we can potentially go up from here too. Uh oh. It doesn't know where I am. Come back, mole rat. Because I'm in the water? It can't go in the water? Is it afraid of water? Come here. Or don't, you know. Whatever you do, you. Are you using a 45? Are you using a special Joshua gun? I'm so scared of plasming this dude. Ah, I didn't like that too much. Okay, the place where the little ones fell. See this? 
This is why your own two feet are better than any cart. Whether it's pulled by critters or goes on its own. Yeah, that's true. It would be great if you would come back, though. But yeah. Woo! Oh my goodness! That one got me good. It did. That one got me real good. Thanks for that. Okay. So this is the place. And there's a compass over here. Oh, I see it. It's this shiny thing right there. He's still holding it and everything. Oh yeah, they're just little kids. I don't like that. Give me the compass. This compass is broken, but can possibly be restored to a full functioning state. Repair of 30 or greater is required. We can do that. Let's repair the compass. This poor little guy. So wait, if they wanted scout lunch boxes, wouldn't these work just fine? Is that that dinosaur toy? I'm trying not to step on these poor children. Hello, dino. Cherry bombs and compass sensor module. I guess you could use that to fix the compass if you didn't have repair skill. Should I take it as a souvenir? Do we need it? I guess I can take it. Oh, these poor guys. Oh no, I'm sorry I touched you. I didn't mean to. There's another dino. I want the dino. Because it doesn't... Be careful where you step, my man. We're trying to be respectful. I will take those bottle caps. Okay. Oh no, you're standing right on him. Oh. Bad. Bad chalky. Bad. Alright. Well, we got what we needed from here. I'm assuming we're done. Yeah, next we need to go to the fishing lodge. Let's go this way to get there. Whoa, 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 no thanks. Mm -mm, no thank you. Okay. Saved it. Guess who feels woozy now, huh? Not me. That's you. You're the woozy one. <laughs> oh, those things are fast. They'll spook ya. They'll come right up and spook ya. Let's turn the light off, because we don't need it right at the present moment. And I'll keep going this way. There's something over there. And there's coyote noises. There may or may not actually be coyotes, but there's noises there of coyotes. There can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. Oh man, you'd be surprised. I'd love to take him to like the tops or whatever. <laughs> Can we take him with us? Can I have him as a permanent follower? We'll go to Camp McCarran and he'll be like, Big metal bird, how does it fly without feather? That's what I imagine he would say. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's a big hmm gonna be one hmm from me. Uh oh. I made it mad. Same. At least it can't really do anything to us. I'm not gonna be able to loot it, but hey, whatever. So this is a ranger substation. Okay, did my perk just get used? I saw it pop up in the corner. So we have Virgin Fort Campground and Ant Burrow, and these we already knew. I was thinking I would need to go up to the top of the place or something for that to trigger, but apparently you just walk somewhere in the vicinity and you're good. Duct tape, yes. I don't think I want turpentine. No, empty crate. Oh, this one's not empty. I'll take that. Thanks. Just in case. Anything back here? A toolbox. Ah. Cattle prod inflicts fatigue damage. Well, that's kind of cool. Maybe we'll take it. 
I can take a few cool things when I find them. I can have this guy carry them. I'm just thinking about how we're going to exit the, uh, the DLC carrying all of our souvenirs with us. Because, like, whenever Joshua mentioned the Sorrows having Yaogwai gauntlets, I thought about Veronica. I thought maybe she would want one of those. I don't really want the food from here. And I don't really want to carry a six-pound fission battery either. Gun case. Well, I, I guess I can take these. Definitely want to take the microfusion cells. In case we need them. And there's another ammo box. We can open this. Easy peasy. And I'll just take all of that too. Okay. And we're good. Let's go back down to the ground floor. And continue heading up north towards the fishing so lodge. Yeah, you finally get to explore all the uh, cursed places or whatever. I finally get to explore all those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me? You do. Can't wait. 22, huh? That's, uh... Interesting. Is that going to be the white legs? I was trying to see if we could actually see the fishing lodge from here, but... I don't think we can. The farthest we can see is that little bridge. And then over that way was something. There it is. It looks like a plane, maybe. And... Yeah. It would be easier to see at daytime. So maybe we'll try it again next time we're at a high place in the daytime. But for now, we're just going to keep kind of blindly heading to the... Fishing Lodge. We're not going to go down this way, though. It's not a very good life decision, I guess. This would probably be okay, but I think our companion would hate it. I'll just do this. We're getting a little creative. Mr. Follows Chalks. Th that was a bit of a big... What's your HP, honey? You good? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Are you going to be okay to continue this? Come on. Okay, you did. And now this one. Drop down to here. Okay, good. And then we go in the river. It hurt a little bit. But we're mostly okay. Nothing a little bit of healing powder can't fix. Actually, swim. It's deep right there. Look sharp. Lots of giant ants around here. Oh. We call them picnic killers. Don't really know what that means. Well, they do Something kill from back when, I guess. Picnics, yeah. They do kill picnics. You were right about that. I noticed that this wasn't irradiated, so I figured I would just get my health back this way because it's free. Not have to use any of my items to do it. Yeah, there's no way we're going to get thirsty in this place because we can just drink the entire river. Okay. So the ant nest is how close to here? Very close to here. It's right over there. Which kind of makes me want to go this way instead. But for the sake of adventure, right? Let's go discover it. We don't have to go in it if we don't want to. But I do want to put more things on the map. Okay, Ant Burrow. Is it this? Is it this oddly colored thing? Yeah. Looks closed up, though. I don't see any hostile ants around here. Here's a campground. Is that that one on the... It is. Yeah, it's the one we saw from up on the ranger tower. Must have been nice. When Zion was friendly enough, folks could make camp wherever they pleased and not worry about white legs and deadly critters. Yeah. That is definitely nice. I kind of want to put the relaxed wear on chalks. 
What'd you find, guy? Oh, that almost hit me in the face. That's not very cool of you. Uh-oh. There's a dog coming with him. Oh, it's actually, like, scruffy looking. I didn't notice that. And another decapitated dog. Well, it was a mongrel. It's not like it was a good dog. I'll take his tomahawks. I don't really want his armor, but whatever. Just take it all. Whatever. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna hand you some stuff, okay? You don't mind, do you? Well then, let's get to trading. How about you carry these? I'll glue them together if I need to later. Kind of prod the fire axe. Basically, the stuff that I don't think I'm gonna use. I don't know that I'll use this either, but this this belonged to Stella, so I'm, I'm holding on to it. What if I put this and this in your inventory? Will you equip it? Oh, there you go. You look a little bit more normal now. You remind me of Sharon. All right. Saying that Sharon looks normal. <laughs> That's uh, something on its own, isn't it? I'm not making fun of Sharon. <laughs> He's the best. <laughs> okay. Pre-war money. Cool. And there's another hostel up ahead on the right. Maybe it's an ant. Like the shadow of a ghost. Yeah, that's us. We're ghost shadows. I hear legs. It's a scorpo. And he just rolls for a bit before turning into goo. He would just be slowly seeping down this hillside here. There's another one up here. Probably a white legs. No, it's a Geki. Yeah, hey gotcha. Geki. Whoa! Surprise! Who was more surprised, me or you? I'm gonna say you. I'm gonna say you were more surprised. There's another right up there. It's another Gecko though, so it's not really anything. Oh, a Scorpo. No with more the scorpions. Bullets. No more bullets. You need me to give you some ammo, my friend? You need some 45 ammo? I think I can help you out with that. Well, then. Let's get to trading. Yeah. Will this help you? Maybe? I hope so. We'll take all of that. Why not? I wonder how often Joshua's gonna restock his caps for us. Hopefully, like, once a day or something. That would be pretty good. That would be pretty frequent. Oh, look, it's just a little one. That one's just little. I don't want to harass it. It's just, it's a little bitty. Oh, it's cute. It's licking its eyes. Let's go around it. No, let's just go around it. No, don't kill it. Just go around it. You can fight the big one. Yeah, fight the, the big spitting one. But leave that little one alone. Leave the child alone. Oh, hi. Oh, there's another one over there. I hear some odd things about the civilized lands outside Zion. Is there really a giant thunder lizard people live inside? A giant thunder lizard people live inside? Well, I know thunder lizards are uh, creatures in World of Warcraft, but as far as thunder lizards in New Vegas, I don't know. Look at that. One of the spit projectiles is uh, persisting. Does it hurt me if I touch it? No. Look at that. Have you ever seen anything like this, Mr. Chalks? It's a little bit unique. No, I want to pick the pretty flower. Let me pick the pretty flower. There we go. Although I guess you actually pick the pretty roots of the pretty flower. I don't think I need to go that way. That goes into... Another tribe's area. I mean, I kind of want to go that way, but let's just stick to the plan. We gotta stick to the plan, guys. Come on. It's important. 
put the weapon away so we can move just a little bit faster. Yaogwai cave. The weapon comes back out. You say something about a Yaogwai and the weapon comes back out. Let's actually go in here. You know what? Why not? Let's sneak and go in here. Those other two that we ran into weren't really a problem. They melted pretty much right away. So if we come in here sneaking, I don't even see any hostiles on the radar yet. We should be okay. Should be able to melt them easily. Look at these mushrooms. Can I pick them? I can't. It's a little bit of a disappointment. Not the kind of cave fungus that needs picking, I suppose. Oh, here's some dead people. Can I pick that? No. Let's turn on the light. Though I don't think these guys have anything on them other than flies, as you can hear. Alright, let's go the other direction then. Should I even be sneaking? I'm not even scared anymore. Okay, now I am. That goes down? Let's go this way first. Are there even any Yaogwai in this cave? Why is it called Yaogwai Cave? Salt upon wounds There's one, I hear him. In New Canaan. Nailed their corpses to the cliffs. Salt upon wounds. Let's turn that light off. Okay, I hear them over there. I'm wondering if I can throw grenades through there. I think I just have frag mines, though. I have tomahawks, but that's not what I'm looking for. I could use the grenade launcher through there, but like, what if I. What if it won't fit? Like, what if there's collision there that I don't know about? I could try shooting at it first, but then that would alert them to my presence. So maybe just from back here, this might be a horrible idea, but we have an odd, we have a, a quick save, so. Let's try to just lob it. This gap looks bigger. Let's try to just lob it through that gap. Kind of worked. Don't know if it's dealing any damage. Oh, that one was too close. Critical strike, yep. Crippled a leg. I don't even know how many are over there. But <laughs> oh, is it cubs? Are there children? Okay, that one died. Just keep doing this. Okay, four out of ten, so that one died too. Oh, we got a kill shot on that one, all right. Do I hear any more breathing? Are you still breathing over there? Oh, you could actually probably kill them from up here without using that method, but whatever, it worked. We'll go back to Handy Dandy Plasma just in case, though. And then we'll head down. We could pick Cave Fungus, but I don't really want to. Look, it's in like a little hole, tunnel thing. That's neat. This place sure does sound spooky. And it looks cool, too. I like the way the cave looks. I usually like the way caves look. This is giving me an Oblivion vibe right here. Uh, sometimes you'd go into caves or Imperial forts and part of it would be submerged. We can go up that way. This would be towards that big room, right? Yeah. What have you got for me? Some meat? Sure. And you? Meat? Cool. And you? Meat? You're all meat. That's good. We pick these little white ones? No, just the pink ones? Ew, gross. That compass thing always knows where north is, huh? Mm-hmm. Even if it can't see the stars? Yep, magnets, my dude. It's pretty cool stuff. You got magnetic fields of... On the earth, and it uh, tells you where they're at. Points you to the north one. It's pretty cool. And okay. So, are there going to be more of them? This way, maybe. I wonder how big this place is, actually. And if we'll find like a secondary way out. Is this going to be the secondary way out? No. It just ends with this weird little... That's very strange. Let's look at the map. 
the local map. Okay. What a weird little ending there. Guess we have to go back out the front. Back in the water. Swimmy, swimmy. Swimmy, swimmy. We could intentionally drown if we wanted to. I'm living on the edge. Look at that. Look at that countdown. Look at it go. Okay, just kidding. I don't really want to drown. We almost made it to the end, though. Okay. I feel like our little courier person cannot hold her breath very long. Is there any stat that increases how long you can hold your breath for? Like, you know what I mean? Does endurance have something to do with that? Because it would make sense if it did. Just going the wrong way all the time. I'm not really getting lost in this cave, am I? No? Okay. There we go. The entrance is a turnaround just like the... That one little weird ending. It's a nice rainy day out here. Who have we got? The good guy is on that side. The good guy is dead. We just have bad guy now. Goodbye, Storm Drummer. Yeah, I'm sorry that he died, but I had to take the time to know which him was which in, you know? I didn't want to just willy-nilly that and kill them both. Imagine that the dead horses would not be very happy if I accidentally killed one of their scouts. And they probably wouldn't listen to me if I told them that I thought it was a white leg. Why do you carry all those bottle caps anyway? I just like them, my dude. I could dress like the dead horses. They jangle like crazy. They do, don't they? I want everything except the sledgehammer. Look at that. Did you see that? Did you notice what I just did? I remembered that someone very kindly told me that if you hold shift, you don't have to press A on the take all. I didn't even know that. I've been playing how much and I, I didn't even know that you could hold down shift to take all of something. I mean, it makes sense just didn't occur to me. Don't shoot your own guy. Mr. Chalk. I am shooting dry here. I am sorry. I gave you all I had. Okay, well it popped. Well, that's that then. That's that. Hey. Yeah, that. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit, but all you got for me is a yaya tang. Okay. Fire bombs, huh? Those might be fun to play with. I'm glad he or she didn't throw one. I'll take these. Why the heck not? Does this have different underwear than normal people? It does. That's freaky underwear. Good for it. And what is this? This is the fishing lodge. This doesn't look like a fishing lodge. This looks like a barracks. Or the buildings that the caravan people live in. The crimson caravan people. They have houses that look like this in New Vegas. And there's a wonder glue in the trash. I suppose I could take some of these casings and try to actually manufacture some ammo for our guy. There were workbenches back at Joshua's place. Let's go in here discreetly. In case someone is inside. Someone is inside! It's a gecko family! Hi, gecko family! I'm sorry I melted Never your child. Chance, they? No, they really didn't. It's kind of sad, actually. Oh, things. I just don't have a strong need. Blood shield. When I saw just the name, I thought it might be an actual shield. And I was like, shield time! But no. It resists poison, and it gives us health over time. I'll just take all of it. Why not? Take it. Worst case scenario is I eat it or throw it away. I was taking the gecko stuff to make some gecko steaks. For, for as long as I remember, 
The dead horses have thought that places of the old world were taboo. Doesn't look so spooky to me. You're braver than I am, man, because this place looks mega spook. It's spooktastic. Very scary. I'm doing a fright, for sure. Oh, cabinet key. You found the key to the locked cabinet in the Zion Fishing Lodge. Well, we're in the Zion Fishing Lodge. So that's cool. I don't actually want... You know, I don't think I want this bark scorpion gland either. I can sell the gecko hides, but that's pretty much it. I don't want the electronics. I just don't want to carry that much. I mean, at least with the gecko steaks, I'm going to cook them. Beer, Nuka-Cola, walkie-talkie. That's what we needed. Nice. Hey, I found it. The walkie-talkies. So now we've got walkie-talkies and a compass. Very useful. And the other place was going to have medicine, correct? Tourist trap, lunch boxes, and a medical supply kit. Okay, house close. What are you doing? She's already. She didn't have anything left. Does she? I left the sledgehammer. Did you just take the sledgehammer? You did! Congratulations. You're 100% more sledgy now. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, me too. Well. Our next objective is over that away. There's something up here. Don't think I didn't see it, because I did. I saw that red marker. I know what's going on. I know there's a bad somewhere up here. Oh, come on. Let me up this stupid hill. There we go. Where did it go? I swear I saw a red marker over here. Oh, there it is. Did it go down the cliff? Is it down the... The cliff? Let's check our world map. Okay, we're going to want to go over to this bridge to get over there, I think. It's not very far. Are you okay? That was a really echoing jump. But, I mean, you do you. I'm not going to judge your jumping. Another dog. Bad dog. Surprise! Oh, whoops, I missed. Surprise take two. Surprise take three. Well, follows chalk surprised you. Oh, and you were large! Congratulations on your bigger than average size, doggy. Good job on being a large doggy. That's a real achievement. See, so we've seen normal wild dogs and large wild dogs. some odd things about the civilized lands outside Zion. Is there really a giant... Yeah, we've already talked about the Thunder Lizard, man. The thunder Lizard people live inside? I don't know what you're talking about with that. Unless you're using Thunder Lizard to mean something else. Like, I'm trying to think about what would potentially be a Thunder Lizard for this guy. And the only thing that comes to mind is the... Where's that tin can? I missed it, didn't I? There it is. Goodbye. Yeah, the only one that comes to mind is the dinosaur thing. In Novak. Hey, dude. I'm gonna want you to carry well, some then, stuff again. Let's get to trading. Yeah, just take this and this. I know, I can glue stuff together, but whatever. For the moment, just just take it. Maybe throw some tomahawks. I don't care. Do whatever you want. Okay. North Fork Campground. Wasn't the other one named Fork Campground something too? Like South Fork? What is it? Virgin Fork. Okay, and this one's North Fork. Man! It's so sad. We can't even camp here. How tragic. And there goes another dead horse. So there's dead horses everywhere. That kind of sounds weird out of context. But there's just... 
They're everywhere. They're all over this place. They're really doing a good job with their scouting, I guess. There's the North Fork Bridge. Probably going to be another campground somewhere. I should actually look at these signs. Uh, picnic ahead. Okay. So that is going to be like another campground, pretty much. I don't even know what I'm going to do with all of these sacred Datura roots. I'm just picking them up. Because they're like new with the DLC, right? So I should have some. Here's the general store. This is one of the places we needed. Got handprints all over it. That's how you know it's spooky. And I probably should have crouched to come in here, but whoa! Oh, you're big! Oh, you're big! Congratulations! You're also large, like that dog. Very good job. Whoa, biggie! I wish you died with your wings out. Your wings are so pretty. Can I... Can I pull on you? I want to open your wings. Because they're pretty. Open. Open. Open the wings. Please? Man, it's been such a long time since I've seen your pretty wings, you crazy guy. Oh well. Well, there's new Coca-Cola trucks and lots of little race cars. Teddies! I want a teddy. We're too over-encumbered for that. What is this? Flour? Might take some flour to cook some stuff with. Nuka colas Nuka colas Nuka colas Tosparillas. Coffee mug. I hear some odd things about the civilized lands that was outside the Zion. Thing. Yeah? Is there really a giant thunder lizard people live inside? I like how you're impressed with the idea of a giant thunder lizard, but you're well, just whacking. That's that then. You're just whacking a giant mantis like that's no big deal. But yeah, coffee mugs. I'm uh, hoarding them because I don't know why. I just was told to do it. And I was like, you know, maybe that's a pretty good suggestion since you guys know what's going on and I don't. So I'm doing it. I hope it's not like <laughs> something dumb. I hope you wouldn't tell me to do something and then like I do it and I'm like, guys, I got every coffee mug in the game. And then you're just like, <gasps> Oh, look! It's a snow globe! Take it. Take it. This snow globe has been added to the collection at the Lucky 38. I don't even get to hold it in my inventory? And it sold, like, immediately. Wow, okay. I'm for sure gonna sell the other snow globes now. So I got two scout lunch boxes. I need five? Where are the other ones? Are they in the back? Maybe? It did say I needed five, right? Let's open this desk. There might be some in here. There's one in here. And I don't really want the mantis foreleg. I've changed my mind. So I'm going to give your leg back to you. Even though this is really not your leg, that's your friend's leg. Just pretend it's your leg. Nothing to lose your head over. Ha 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 wonder what this terminal is going to get into. Is it just going to give us, like, the store's sale history or something? Because that's not too interesting. Shipping error, bus tour, and shipping problems again. Let's start at the top with shipping error. From Horace Applebaum to Mandy Patrice on 6-15-77. Hi, Mandy. This is Horace Applebaum out at the Zion General Store. I placed an order three weeks ago for the Deluxe Mountain Man All-in-One Survival Kits. You know, the ones that come with a compass, a pair of walkie-talkies, and a full first aid kit. I'm writing to you because of today. I still haven't received the shipment. I'm fresh out of kits here. And with the summer tour season picking up. I really need the new ones ASAP. Thanks Horace. Bus tour. Uh, this one's from Hor Horace Applebaum to Alan Mitchum. 
Dear Scoutmaster Mitchum, thanks for following up. You'll be happy to know that the Little Scout lunch boxes you ordered have arrived. You can pick them up from the general store when you arrive in Zion. The general store is open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to nightfall. We look forward to seeing you and your scouts on Independence Day. All the best. Horace Applebaum, yeah, that bus tour didn't make it. This is Horace to Mandy again. Mandy! Who the hell is running the shipping company? I've just received three crates of Dinky the Dinosaur, officially licensed dino action dolls. These things were supposed to go to some tourist trap in Nevada. How did they end up here? Mandy, what the hell can I do with this stuff? Maybe if we file off the Dinky trademark, we can turn them around as kitty souvenirs and make a few bucks. But I'm still looking at a major loss. Whatever's going on in your shipping department, take care of it, or I'll find somebody else to handle my orders, I swear. Yours, Horace. P.S. I still haven't received that order of survival gear I requested last month. You know, the things I actually sell to people. Well, Horace is mad. That's a mad Horace right there. So no wonder there's not that many scout kits. He was having trouble getting his orders in. Ooh, looky. Licky, licky, licky. They put it behind the broom. How sneaky is that? So that's going to be four. We just need one more from somewhere. And I know it's... I know it's here. It's got to be here somewhere. Hey, guys. It's Missy from the editing room. I'm here to tell you that I lost the original audio. So you don't get to see me see the general store key in real time. I'm sorry. That's been lost into the nether. But... I mean, it's fine. We're almost to the end. And I'm just going to keep you company until then. You know, we're just going to look at some inane stuff. It's pretty much the same as if I was commenting during the playthrough. I was just looking for the lunchbox. It's no big deal. I'm going to find the lunchbox. Spoiler alert. We're going to find it. Boom. There it is. <laughs> there it is. So that's it. That's going to be all five. We've successfully done it. Good job, me, in the past. You're so skilled and good at things those um what did you call them uh, walkie talkies those are going to be loads better than signal drums and smoke signs okay so i remember that i freaked out a little bit about how cute he said walkie talkie i was like oh it's a wacky talkie isn't that just the best and then i don't know some enemies some danger okay yeah sorry you don't get to hear me freak out i don't know that i freaked out though i don't specifically remember freaking out but that doesn't mean it didn't happen I could probably just skip all this. I mean, we're really almost to the end. It's okay. I know this is weird. It's weird for me, too. I don't even like watching my stuff on the playback, but here we are. <laughs> I couldn't just leave you alone. And it's not like I could redo it because it's a blind playthrough. So everything has to be, you know, kosher. We got to do it the right way. I was pointing out that this is the ranger station, but I thought the thing on the hill was supposed to be the ranger station. I can't believe I actually remember what I commented on this. It's been like a while. It's been like a solid day. <laughs> but cool. This is the place where the medical kit is supposed to be. Are we going to find it? Are we not going to find it? I could spoil it for you, but I won't. Gotcha. I like how he said gotcha when I killed it. I didn't actually notice that at the time. I just now noticed that for the first time on the playback. There's a little dead skelly. Some more coffee mugs for my collection. I guess I can specify that earlier when I mentioned the coffee mugs and that I was picking them up at the behest of you fine fellows and I didn't know why I was doing it. I don't want to know why I'm doing it. Don't tell me about why, you know. I mean, I love your comments, but it's getting a little it's getting a little bit of a danger zone in the comment section for me to have to read it. And I know my lovely moderators, they are doing their best to keep it safe. For me to read but i mean i mean come on you, you want me to be surprised by these things you don't want me to know what's coming about so just um do your best i was gonna pill for these teddy hats and then i noticed there's like a thing ta-da ammunition for some reason there's only 12 of them and there's there are 12 they're 12 there's 12 12s and nothing else we're seriously almost to the end i know i know it's okay we're getting there. Looting stuff. Very cool. Good job, me. 
You're doing great. Just find the thing. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe you don't take that. You don't need that. Why would you take that, sweetheart? It's okay. Open the lock. You go, girl. Hooray! Oh. What a pro. <laughs> no, we're being serious right now. I'm doing a good job. Way to go. Missy, you're so cool. I know that's what you think all the time. You just watch these and you go, wowee. <laughs> She's so great. <laughs> Just flawless, absolute entertainment. Knows where North is, huh? Well, look, here it is. The contaminated medical supply kit. This medical supply kit is mostly intact, but several of these sterile bandages have been broken open, and the disinfectant bottle is leaking. You can try to salvage what's there, or you can find replacements for the contaminated components. Alternatively, you can use alcohol to re-sterilize the bandages. Medicine or of 30 or greater is required, and we're just going to try to salvage it because we have the medicine Even skill. if it can't see the stars? Yay, big success. Some more junk. We got to take the Desperado hat. Come on. Okay, just take it off. Whatever. And we leveled up. Okay, great. I have no idea what to say about this. Did I even take that? I don't think that's even where I put my points. That's right. I took them out. That's what I thought. Put them in speech. Okay, because I know we can eat a magazine to bump speech all the way up to 100, right? Like the meeting people or whatever, but I, I don't know when those conversations are going to come up. I don't know when I'm going to need to preemptively eat a magazine. So we're just going to have it at 100 because it's a lot safer. I'd rather enter a conversation and then realize I need to use the speech option than go, oh, I need to reload a save and use a speech magazine because we're not going to reload those saves so whatever we're just going to do speech and energy weapons okay good choice good job you don't get a perk this level so you're done that's pretty good it's a pretty good choice why are you lingering what are you even saying what are you wasting people's time on talking about survival skill for some reason I don't know what I was going to say there I can't fill in this gap woman move on Thank you. Okay. Okay, so this is it. This is seriously the end. We're seriously getting to the end. This is it. Just looking at a few things. Opening one more ammo box. How exciting. Way to go, girl. You got some more microfusions. Those are always good. And we're over-encumbered. Whatever. Deal with it later. That's gonna be it! Thanks for putting up with whatever this was. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.